Our second application of order of operations is compound interest, and this is a little bit more complicated formula. Again, you will not be memorizing the formula. You will be provided with the formula and all the information in the little box on the quiz. So as long as you can make sense of it, you can use that information and rather than memorize. So let's take a look at this box right here and work through this example. If $1,000 is invested at 6%, what is the amount after four years if the interest is compounded first annually, then quarterly, then monthly, then continuously? So we'll start off with annually and we're using this compound interest formula. So in our formula, A is once again the amount. So A equals P is the principal or present value, which is our investment. And so in this case, that is the $1,000. Next, we have a parenthesis in our formula. We have 1 plus R. We dealt with R before, so here we see R is 6%, and we do have to change that to a decimal, so we'll take 6, divide by 100, and that gives us a decimal value of 0 0.06. So in our formula here, 1 plus, for R we have 0 0.06. Next in our formula, we have divided by M. So reading up here, we have M is the number of compounding periods per year. So since we are dealing with annual interest, we would have one period per year. And so that is our M value. So I'm just going to put that over 1 and my parenthesis. And last, we have an exponent of N. Reading again, N is the total number of compounding periods. So in this problem, there are four years. There is one period per year, and there are four years. So 1 times 4 will give us 4 for that N value. And so I put in exponent of 4. So order of operations says inside parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we're going to deal with division before we do the addition. Then next in order of operations is exponents. And then finally, multiplication. So we're going to go to our calculator to do all this, starting inside my parentheses with my division. So I have 0.06 divided by 1. Hit enter. I will add 1 to that because that's still in the parentheses. Hit enter. Now I'm moving out of my parentheses to do my exponents. So I'll use that caret key and the fourth power. I will hit enter. And finally, I'll do that multiplication. So times 1,000. And I hit enter. So I find that if there is annually compounded interest, the amount will be $1,262.48. Of that amount, $1,000 was invested. So if I subtract out that principal, I get that there were $262.48 worth of interest. All right, so we're going to try the same formula. This time, however, we're going to compound the interest quarterly. So let's take a look. Plugging numbers into my formula. So our formula amount is the principal of 1,000, parenthesis, 1 plus the rate we had already figured out, 0.06, but now our time frame has changed, so our M changes. So we are doing quarterly, which means that there are four periods per year. And so I put in four, four compounding periods. Now my N has to change as well. So the total is four per year times the four years 
or a total of 16 compounding periods. All right, we're ready to go to our calculator. Order of operations, exactly the same here. So we start in our parentheses with the division. So we get 0 0.06 divided by 4. Hit enter. Add the 1. Hit enter. Take this to the 16th power. Hit enter. And multiply this times the 1,000. And we hit enter. And we have our value. So now we have that the amount is $1,268.99. If we subtract the 1000 that was originally invested, we get that there are $268.99 of interest. So, nice thing about compound interest is that if you have it compounded more often, you make just a little bit more. So here we made 262, here we made 268. So, next problem is monthly. I encourage you to stop the video and try this one on your own but I am going to go through it so you can watch or you can try and then come back and check your work. So again we have amount equals our principal is the $1,000. We have 1 plus. Our rate was 6% as a decimal. Now we have to figure out M and N. So this time our interest is compounded monthly and we know that there are 12 months per year. So this is 12, 12 months in a year. Our exponent is the total number of periods. So there's 12 months each year, and our investment is four years long, so that will give us an exponent of 48 this time. And we go to our calculator, do the math one more time. So starting in parentheses with the division, 0 0.06 divided by 12, Add the 1. So that's the answer for inside our parentheses. Next we use the caret key with an exponent of 48. And finally we multiply by 1,000. And we get our amount here is $1,270.49. Our interest on that amount is $270.49. So once again, comparing to quarterly, compounding monthly earns us just a little bit more interest. So the last piece of this is what if we would compound the interest continuously? This means more often than every day, more often than every minute, more often than every second. It means every single moment. So we can't figure out a number for how many compounding periods there would be per year. And so we have to switch formulas. Our new formula is actually the easiest one to use, but may take a little work to get used to on the calculator. So our formula tells us the amount is P-E-R-T. So we've worked with this problem. The amount is going to be $1,000 for P. E is new. When we look at the definition, E is the natural base. It is a number similar to pi, one that re does not repeat but continues forever. And our calculator knows it, so we're just going to put E there. We have to put our rate, which is stayed at 6% for this whole problem. And we have to put our time. And in this problem, time is in years, and we have four years. So we are going to put the four here. Now, order of operations, there's parentheses here which we could multiply, but our calculator can actually handle that multiplication. And so our first thing is the exponent. So I want to get this E on my calculator. And I'm going to get that by using the second button and this LN button, which is two below your second. The calculator knows that E is the natural base, so you see that automatically it wants me to type an exponent. Now depending on your brand of calculator this will vary a little bit but most of you need to put parentheses here so we'll do parentheses 
0.06 multiplied by 4 and then end our parenthesis. We'll hit enter so that it calculates that and then we'll take that answer times a thousand hit enter and we find that the amount is one thousand two hundred seventy one dollars and twenty five cents and if we subtract we can see two hundred seventy one dollars and twenty five cents of that is the interest and that would be the maximum amount of interest that we would possibly be able to learn earn, <coughs> excuse me, because it was compounded at every single moment.